Good day and welcome back to Everything Windows. This time I'm gonna install Rectify 11 on my real laptop via USB on Windows 2 Go mode. Is it gonna be good? Keep watching to find out. Following up from the Unwinver video about Rectify 11, I decided to take tests to run this mod on my real laptop without any hypervisor slash virtualization software. And to take this, I don't want to overwrite my Windows 10 copy nor that I have any SD replacement to try it out. But luckily, I do have a USB which is a SanDisk Cruiser Blade USB 2.0 32GB which I bought about a year ago. But before I installed it, I want to show my laptop specification to make a transparency about this experiment. With that out of the way, let's install Rectify 11. In this case, I am using Rufus version 3.17.1846 portable which is kind of popular to make a USB Windows installation and also make a Windows to go installation over USB. So I choose the USB device that I want to use and inserting the Rectify 11 ISO, selecting Windows to go mode instead of the standard nor the extended Windows 11 installation mode, and setting up partition scheme and target system to match my laptop's one which is MBR with legacy BIOS mode. I renamed the USB with Rectify 11 and keeping the file system as NTFS because FAT32 won't support partition over 4GB. And by that in mind, I started the process which takes very long because Rufus is deploying the .wim to the USB. After 2 hours, 25 minutes and 13 seconds, the process is finally finished. I restarted the Windows 11 for the last time in true Sol Windows installation and getting F12 smashed as much as possible to get into BIOS device choosing thingy. After selecting the USB sand disk, my laptop eventually booted into Windows 11 with the logo slapped to my screen, even though it displays checking partition slash disk or chkdsk in a fancy way because I forgot to plug out my external hard disk which is conflicting with the 11 installation. I finally get into desktop with pure Rectify 11 image and then I'm trying to set up the brightness which I can't because I haven't installed any driver in. So I quickly navigate Rectify 11 to show you this is a legit experiment and there you go. Rectify 11 in my real desktop. After I installed some software and drivers, I tested the installation using Crystal Disk Mark. As you can see, the Rectify 11 suffers to get read and write speed over 25 megabytes per second, which is normal for USB 2.0 speed comparing to my real laptop Samsung SSD, which blasted off at over 500 megabytes per second. And then I quickly go to Task Manager to see percentage of CPU and memory usage. As you can see, Rectify 11 wins about 5% and 20% CPU and memory usage respectively, comparing to my real laptop which is about 7% and 40% CPU and also memory usage. Do note that I have killed many processes in the background which are unnecessary for pure Windows 11 experience and this will maybe change whenever I decided to use Rectify 11 for about a week or a month. So, let's go to the feature me who already in the Rectify 11 desktop showing you how smooth the experience is. Okay, so here we are in Rectify 11 running in Windows 2 Go mode with a USB or well, a SanDisk Crucible Blade 32GB flash drive. Well, so far I've customized this a bit. As you see, I installed OBS, I installed VLC Media Player, Driver Pack, and some little software. Well, not many because I just used it for about two days, just in gap between the real Windows 10 and the Rectify 11. And so far, my experience, just only two days, is fluent because this is Windows 11 running in legacy mode with all animations and all aspects of Windows 11 included with rectifying some mistake with Windows 11 such as the inconsistencies and 
any other. So this is a true fluent. Well, if you don't believe me, I just go to Win Burp. There it is, Windows 11 version 2821H2, build 22,000.318. That's there, that's the real Windows 11 copy of Rectify 11, of course. So, as you can see, this is Rectify 11. Well, in this test drive kind of thing, I want to show you two things that I cannot run in a virtual machine. Of course, the first one is being paint. So this is the one that running on a virtual machine that I can't do that. Instead, what I'm seeing here is the main laptop with all the power such as the Intel HD Graphics 620 and so many other advantages. So here we are in Microsoft Paint, we just go to well, like choosing red and then yeah you know and then scratching like nuts and then going to choose this shape and then going to random like well gold and then shaping it and then filling it like with color green as you know with all this test drive kind of stuff there it is we're going to oh no <laughs> oh goodness i oh yeah because it's my i'm using trackpad in here i don't use wireless mouse because i am sacrificing my usb slot for wireless mouse in order to get this USB work well maybe in the future i'll get USB hub i got it but it is painfully slow so i might get a better one so yeah right here even though paint is kind of bit of a like the early version the preview version because this is still only available in light version or well, maybe because it's version 22,000.318 not the later version which version 3 is gonna be based on nickel so and the other is notepad right here oh no I, it opened in the second monitor so I move it right here and then there it is I can type yada 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 and there it is and then we can go to file edit and view and then I'm going to zoom which is I, I'm using track right because it's easier and then I'm going to zoom it oh no no uh, because this isn't this is different one okay control plus control plus yeah it is able to do that control minus oh goodness i hope this will run in my main machine all uh, right so there at theme and then this notepad supports dark mode and then use font use the font which replaces the font dialog in the earlier notepad version all right so i'm gonna close it and then no i don't want to save that so maybe we're going to chromium and Right here, I have the Explorer, which is right there. Then see the Mika, which is available on Windows 11, or maybe Windows 10, which is a bit limitations. That's there, Windows 11 running. <laughs> oh, I'm so praising this kind of stuff. So go to discord.com slash up. I haven't opened. Oh goodness, uh, I haven't got network running, so I'm gonna do this in a few seconds. Alright, so I got network in here, like discord.com slash app, and I'm going to use my phone to log in. Alright, so I open Discord first, so it is right there. Check it your phone, yes, log me in, continue, and then Discord is in. Maybe you can check out Rectify Win Discord server restore it like this and then we're going to test some Windows 11 features that are in here such as the snap like there maybe I can just use as it like there and then we're going to make this in such a shape like that that oh goodness sake I am praising this Windows 11 and because of the Rectify 11 a team which brought up this Windows 11 into legacy mode because Windows 11 only runs on UFI but Rectify 11 allows you to run via legacy mode and which is kind of awesome well it's awesome with the rounded corners and then maybe minimize it because and I'm gonna move it right there because I don't really want it so we're going to control panel and then see how the consistencies is more noticeable consistencies not inconsistencies just so you know and 
in version 2.5 you don't really need to use same tool because if you go into settings uh, it opens right there and then going to maximize it and I'm going to personalization and see right here so you have the option to just so you know right there and then maybe you're going to glow I hope the recording won't gonna screw it up okay uh, maybe we can oh the animation right there then going to Windows D again to open all that and then if we're going to light mode I hope you're gonna screw it up the recording Please wait and uh yeah it, while it's loading the light mode because it is running off from USB so it doesn't really that fast and there it is it's, even though I'm running in the administrator and running via USB this is actually pretty good maybe we can sh switch back to Windows Dark oh there is an error because uh, switching switching thingy does break a few and then going to to do for the shortcut control windows key and then arrow right there and then the animation look at the taskbar yeah this is windows 11 visha that are brought in here still there is some caveat that i have to deal with right now because only one thing i'm running this via usb so this is my experience with rectify 11 on the real machine even though it is running off by USB but it is still kind of awesome and if you want to challenge me right now to use rectify 11 for full week or full month make this video reach 1000 views if you want to see me using rectify 11 in one week and if you want me to use rectify 11 for a full month this video has to reach 10 thousand views yes this is a challenge if you want me to use this awesome windows mod or unwinver if you want to say it if you want me to use this rectify 11 for a full week or a full month you have to make this video about a thousand for a week and ten thousand for a full month as of this video i won't gonna make anything related to rectify 11 unless this video reaches a thousand and ten thousand views so, I'll see you in the next video for using Rectify 11 for a full week or full month. See you next time. Goodbye.